good. Gonna land right on them. Does a lot of damage, but they've lost all of Meister. And now Crim's gotta make sure they don't come out of drop. If they can take him down, this bombsite is lost, and they're just gonna run him over. Taz with the armor and the Mac, oh, sorry, the, the Tech Nine there. Easy couple of kills for him, or the one kill and Flusher. Now, one versus five. He's even being ring around the Rosie here. Pasha's waiting. Oh, don't do it. Pasha, that's so cruel. He knifes Flusher. And that will be it. If they weren't already winning, if they weren't already completely deconstructing Fnatic here, then that's it. <laughs> <laughs> completely styling on Fnatic. Casino till 3 a.m. I'm not sure. There is that too to consider. I mean, I'm I must just ask the question. You know, it could be could be one or the other or both. I did have a pretty good laugh though with Megas because you know he was walking around. He's like zombie mode. hadn't had coffee yet. hadn't had anything. Right. I was like Megas, are, are you there? Like snapping my finger. You know, Megas, Megas. Uh, Cajun certainly is there. No problem taking down that fly. Of course, with the bomb plant, they're not going to have armor or really anything else in this round, which is to be expected. And Config having a grand old time with the UMP. Actually, <laughs> all right, styling a bit on Tarek. And Mixwell, he's renamed himself Godwell, which I'm not even opposed to. I think that's perfectly reasonable. Trying to get the channel going? I mean, why not? We saw the Magician yesterday with Simple. He's actually changing up his name a little bit as well. And plenty of time. They don't need to rush anything right now. I like what you did there. And Sandy Aries down, and there's the headshot. And now it's on MSL and Maze to work as a pair. And MSL is going to figure out exactly where he goes playing from. And all of the information now at Hiko's disposal to try and keep Megas from getting this defuse. The bomb is not planted for Hiko, and so Hiko has to move as soon as he hears that tap, but he hits the headshot. There's the clutch coming through. You can always count on Hiko in the end. There's still two players alive. The main problem here is that Mixwell is still alive on the site itself. That's what's stopping North from pushing onto the site and attempting a bomb plant. They have to go for fights like this, and it's not working out. It's down to config, 52 HP, and a 1v2. Very tricky. He's got the time at least. An attempted pre-fire coming out there. And Config realizing where the other player is. So he's got the information. He's got the time. He's going to go for the fight. Jumps through with the burst fire. Taking down Hiko. Now going with the USP instead. Turning around on Tarek and doing a lot of damage. He's just picking up guns left and right at the moment. He's got five bullets left here. Going for it. And Config. He's going to be able to do a quad kill on him. It's just the coordination that they had together as a unit. That's what made them so powerful, in fact. Just like, not only do they have the raw aim, but their coordination, their teamwork after that was sick. Still capable of doing that as well. This roster, they definitely have the talent. But it looks like VP, they started with the bomb over in Palace on A. Now it's time to hit short. It looks like with that bomb carried through. Flush it, does he get the timing? Yes, he does. Bialy looking the wrong way, and Flusha sprays down Pasha as well. Perfect Ooh. work from Flusha. What a hold. Five health, and he gets that last headshot. You know that Fnatic either have, they have to gamble, put two players on one site, or you're going to be running into one defender on the site when you push in. So you're going to go in as a pair. Pasha looking the wrong way, unfortunately for him. And Olaf Meister, he's ready. That's just like that. The whole situation has changed. Now Snacks has to just step out there, and he wins the duel. That is key. Crims, is he going to start rotating or not? He's already on it, but I'm wondering if Crims couldn't have got the angle to shoot Snacks in the back then. I'm not sure. He wasn't CT spawn. I think he could have maybe gone for it. There might have been a slight miscommunication there. One-on-one, -on -one, Crims versus Snacks, and this is very important for Fnatic. Again, all about momentum right now for them. Get back in the game and start to feel a bit better. Smoke is up as well. Crims trying to see if he can walk him, but Snacks going to take him out. Triple kill here for the start. Wolfmeister in mid, though, this time. And JW looking for the peak into pit, hoping to find Bialy. Oh, man, if these smokes go down right, Crims and JW are going to have a very hard time helping each other out. Neo, he does have a Molotov for Crims as well, so this could get really rough. Let's see if it's going to work out. Groot, strong kill for JW. Actually, he's out of shadow now, so the Molotov's not going to affect him. JW hitting one more shot, and there's the backup. Crims picking up two kills. Big defense coming up here. JW with a triple, and Fnatic finding a sixth round. If they decide to rush him in for us, he's in a bit of a tight spot. Pasha looking to go aggressive, runs close quarters. Risky business from him. Takes one guy with a P250 there to ruin his day. But they realize the situation. He's managing to pick up two kills with that UMP. A lot of money goes in his pocket. Could be picking up a third one here as well. Dennis, no way. Make it happen, Dennis. You no! <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Oh, no. All right, that was close. Positions to be able to hold with. So 
Oh, Solid wait. work from him for sure. Four HE grenades. First one is out now. On the other side, Fnatic are coming here. Come all the grenades right on top. And look at the damage being done. The complete nuclear bomb right on top of Fnatic. And now they're down in a two on four. Oh my god, versus Pro, they make it work. Nuking Fnatic out of the round and bringing it back to a 1 1 scoreline. Creams with the second one of the round, and now it's a 2 on 2. Snacks getting one, but he's gonna. Oh, they're gonna lose Taz there. And all on Snacks. 1v2, and the bomb only just planted, though. So he's got a time! Oh, point blank! No scope! There we go, the damage. Altmeister is gone, and Crims is alone on the site. But Snacks has so many angles to worry about now. Crims has had all of the time in the world to set up, and Snacks is just gonna be a guessing game. Is he gonna be looking the right way when he spots him? There it is, the shot's calm, collected, cool. Snacks is a beast. Just calmly taps Crims away with a Tech 9. He has deleted him from the server. And it will be a five on four all of a sudden. Nade goes in to take damage on Shroud. It's Automatic that wants to do the same with the pistols on the other side. Over toward B. Bomb still toward A though. And a pushed position from Forrest in Stables and Get Right rotating around. Stewie's outside oh, the door. Stewie no knows way. he's there. He's heard him, but Get Right's staying aggressive with his push. He's not going to sit on balcony. Question is, will he be vulnerable and open if Stewie gets in behind? Line the Deagle up shortly, but still manages the kill. And they know Forrest is in Stables. Side peak, shoulder, weakened but traded. Nothing's got him down. And suddenly it's all to exist as if they finally win a pistol, have somewhat of a hope, and it gets ripped apart. They look so checked out right now, and Freiburg. Goes towards the chicken coop and Skidoodle just walks all the way in with the AWP as well. Such an audacious move to make and just a cheeky little no-scope there to finish things off. Not much further can do about it. He hasn't taken any initiative to face at all. Gets some intel or bait out a shot from Skidoodle. Sits in the back and allows him to just walk up and finish things off there. And there it is. Little no-scope. This is as usual and Stewie hits an absolutely beautiful shot there towards the lower round. Get right. Can't believe it. Yep. And this is when IP wanted to go B. Forrest and Pith, I believe, are at main entrance with Freiburg above the ladder. So Exist could try and sell this as a fake now. They want to go. They're going to go now. In fact, they catch off Skadoodle. Missed shot. Uncharacteristic for him so far in this series. Shroud controlled to back, but a Molotov from Freiburg forces him out. Pith found a kill beforehand. It's NIP with a man advantage. Indeed. Three on two. Bomb will be planted outside as well. Stewie knows it. Ooh. Tries to get a little bit of wall bang. It actually what? works out underneath the train. You can spot feet but underneath that. That is ridiculously amazing that he hits that. That is such a small fraction. Old school train style underneath the train. Okay, then. Brings it to two versus two. They know where that bomb is obviously planted as a result of that. Stewie's going to try and move with the op ever closer onto the site. Automatic, meanwhile, smokes that off, realizes it's toward hell, and they've got both kills. They've got a defuse, and they've got their sixth straight round. And then I say it, and Skadoodle does that. Starts it off well as they continue to push forward. He'll start to clear tanker. That's covered off. Pants on top of the ball, but found by Automatic immediately means get right, who's going to play low ground as well. Has to make noise to go down the ramp, pulls it back to one versus one. But does he transfer to higher? I don't think he can, and I don't think he's a doodle fancy it. He bails. He's keeping the AWP. Got my has gone for the full defuse there. It's got Take a, a lot of money. They could have easily done so. Get right down at the bottom of the pop dog ladder, though, so he'll be fast on the flank. When they go, smokes out. Pith wants to change his angle to cover off default because the smoke in front of him won't allow him to see any further, and it works. A good read from Pith. And he'll change his angle immediately so as not to be found. And Get right may have fallen, but Forrest is doing the exact same thing, slipping in, and nothing will go towards CT. That'll hold off Freiburg, but Forrest is going to walk in. Skadoodle's not looking. That's too easy. Spots a second over on the right side. Down goes automatic. And it's all nothing that was trying to work this from the IV position. The unfortunate fact for him is Pith's shot dropping the Ooh. bomb means he can do nothing in the post plan. It's map point for an IP. A composite. Perhaps there was some Kevlar in there. Maybe it was really heavy and fortified. Let's get right looks toward mid. I like that it doesn't blow up. I think it adds more of a dynamic. That door is always a factor. Whereas as soon as it's blown out, it's just a gaping entryway. 1 HP, tag down as exists, but that baits the man in Pith. Good positioning, finds two backs, changes his angle, closes out the round as well. We go 6-6. Six, six. He open gets one, nearly transfers it to two, but Shroud, he gets the kill in return, and it's Get Right only remaining. He's in behind Quad, low HP, gets Ooh. one, but he overcommits to the left. He's got it. And automatic gets it, you're right, the bomb's gonna detonate. They've got the time down, and then IP will pick up round 12. Oh, it's gonna be so gutting for Cloud9 after getting the first kill there. Bomb's over. It's in his hands. Late to p scope in. P250 says, forget that. I'm going for the plant. That brings the pistol closer. Way closer. And Stewie's got it. Well, then, Stewie goes all in with the P250 as soon as he has the bomb going down. Okay, a little bit more handicapped. 
Gives them any advantage they can get. Alu starting well, though. Edward pulling back. Alu following up with Simple to go down, but Edward, he continues to wreak havoc. It becomes another two versus two. Even when the gun rounds are in favor of FaZe and the force buys are on the hands of Na'Vi, they're making the rounds very close, but that's where the scoreline sits. One round between the two. Guardian starts to rotate down below, but Alu above with bomb inside of the hut means this will be an upper plant easily with a smoke off main as well. Call it done. Alu just watches toward heaven, checks it, considers it, and now gets himself in position to push through the smoke. Nice shot, good reaction, tech nine. And it's just a tin wall, does damage, and then pops out to take down Guardian. 62. Rain's early on this rotation again for FaZe, and it might not be the worst thing in the world because again, Navi looks to try and put pressure on Outer, but I get the feeling this time they want to wrap up main. Try and push back to upper. Good play from Seize. Never mind wrapping immediately into the door. Push all the way through and find Alu. That's Jacob and Kerrigan. Zip. Great rotation from Ramp to find Seized. It's down to Guardian one versus four, and FaZe have fought back. We didn't expect it, but they certainly did. 16 to 13, they'll make it. Quite limited to CTs, but it's enough to work with. Guardian towards Ivy for now, smoked out. Looks like it's quite a lot of commitment in terms of the utility used by the T to the start there. Just trying to potentially bait out the grenades from the CTs himself. And it's actually working quite effectively. Guardian, though, he's going to nail that first shot. Does indeed. And a missed shot from Alu allows the possibility and then takes Alu down himself. Guardian's looking for a third. It's simple to get it. But the third one still presents itself toward Pop Dog. Around, but he's backing up. Rain is actually inside, getting closer. He's not going to see him either. Gun animation in his way. Rain spots him running the other direction, but can't find him. And he's dropped back down. Finally gets behind him. Finally gets a shot into the back of his head. Flamey, though, does get Kerrigan with a nade that was thrown before. Rain could find him. What a shot on Simple. If you found him sooner, he'd have one other teammate still to work with. It would be a three on one. I said it's Edward to try and pull this back, and he's clutching at straws to do so. Rain again is absolutely on fire. Four kills for him. Yoshima's going to go down, flash out. Two from Ivy to push through. Seize wants it, gets one. He stays alive as well, but he lets one go by. Simple's got every angle to cover three ways around him. Only manages one. And Alu finds him and continues forth to find Edward. And with Jacob getting seized, they actually pull the man advantage out of that situation when it could have gone much, much worse. But Flamey, oh, thank you for showing me Hello. the gun barrel. Make sure he hits the shot, UMP. And he sits back with Bomb down to find where Jacob's gone. He reads it perfectly well, and it's 3-3. How does he do this every single time? He's always so aware of Navi all better off and they walk through flashes both ways simple he's lost track of it that could be costly because it's low HP but he would get the jump rain instead goes down and they clear off all but Jacob who's rotated around from Ivy so he's just arriving now good play to find simple still a chance smokes himself off they're not on the defuse yeah, they probably. don't have can't kits. Win the round now. <laughs> they don't have kits. They're going to try and hold it. Jacob can't line it up goes for a get again he's so close gets them both Jacob he pulls what? it off for phase wow Teammate, in fact, that's Will. I think he thought they dropped in already as the smokes were leveled down. He didn't have a sound cue, but they go back through Pop Dog. Yeah. It's Kerrigan they get. The bomb's in it, though. They've, they're going back through Pop Dog, back through Main, up to the halls, and back to B. Rain. Rain. Deny the bomb plant. He's going to go wide as well with the 5 7. He had potential for more. And on top of that, Jacob's trying to kill. He's got another on C's. He's still spraying in. It's watched back and forth, and he gets an AK picked up. It's Gordian Lost. down. Simple's the last alive. Bomb's not planted. Round is over. And Somehow, FaZe will survive.